Hey guys! Oh, I'm burpy. I'm already burpy. Oh, <laughs> oh. should I start it over? <laughs> oh god. I really should have, but I guess that's not what we're gonna do. Hey, this is Snack Attack 8. Welcome back to Ukulele, the blind playthrough. Um, oh my god, this is not the place I want to be tangling with these dudes. Stop it! Stop! Um, this is part nine. The second episode we're spending here in the, uh, the fantastical feeling Glitter Glaze Glacier. Um, we got so much level here, I think, to explore. And, oh, hey, it's, uh, our friend. It's a ghost writer. Got so much level here to explore, and I have just no idea how I want to tackle it. Um, last time we met this weird signboard guy. Did this guy even have a name? I don't even remember what his name was. I didn't quite catch that, mate. Let's see. He also has a very weird voice. I don't know if he sounds exactly like I would imagine a signpost guy to sound, but uh, I don't know. It, it's a, maybe it's a little woody sounding, a little woody. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make it up here with the fire. It seems like it's a long way to go, but we can try. And if I can get it up here to the ice cube, I can definitely get it up here to the ghost rider. So yeah, we're gonna try that. <laughs> Isn't that? Oh no, cause. Hold on. Can you... You won't melt? It didn't melt. I feel like that was definitely what... I feel like that was definitely what I needed to do. Let me try it one more time. Did it just not work or any or, or something weird? How could it not be? Give me you. <laughs> yeah, so welcome back to ukulele. Um, I'm really excited to explore this level more in this episode because, as you guys, uh, I explained in the last one, uh, the music's really good and just makes me, just a good, a good soundtrack, a good score is really, you know, doesn't seem like that's working. I guess there's something else we have to do. Good score can just make a whole adventure just worth, honestly. I think, um, you know, a lot of the time... Every, for everybody, I, I've mentioned this before already, but for everybody, there's a, like, like, a, a, like, the idea that, like, make or break a game is gameplay. Like, that's what's going to decide whether a game is good or not. And for sure, like, you know, I always say, like, yes, that's important, probably the most important aspect. I'm not arguing that, but, um, you, you can't underestimate the, uh, the importance of some good aesthetics, and this level definitely has that. And that's what's making me most excited right now to check it out. I don't know if we're supposed to use the cannonball or something for this. I feel like this must have something to do with the new power that Trouser has for us. And we're close to getting that power, so I feel like I should probably just get that. And then try to tackle some of these more uh, esoteric-seeming challenges. Uh, that you know, I, I think for you know, for games like Banjo Tooie and Banjo Kazooie, I take those games for granted now because I know the answer to all the uh, puzzles and all the different um, uh, objectives and things you have to do in the game. But oh man, or we got uh, we just have grenade berries here. That could uh, solve some of our problems. I take for granted, like, knowing all that stuff. And I think I haven't really yet tangled with the idea that I'm playing a new game like that. And I have no idea any of the puzzles or how to solve any of them. Uh, it's sort of a crazy feeling. Because this game feels so much like those old games I used to love. But it's totally new. I don't know anything about it. Um, it's awesome. I love the feeling. So... I think we definitely need to use this on some of these uh, towers, these outstanding towers, and we probably need to use that on the um, on the rocks over there too. But oh, cool! There's Molly, cool. But I don't know how this is thing is supposed to look over here. I know Dude Man's like he wants us to sculpt it in some kind of way, but I don't know how he wants it done. 
Um, so I think we're gonna go over and try, but I think first I'm gonna try to see if this is what will break open the ice for the Ghost Rider. We probably have to hustle over here too, because... Oh, it's, so it doesn't seem like I can use the um, flutter out of the roll, which is a little uh, not that great. I would have liked to... Oh, did I run out? Oh man, I ran out like the very last moment too. Because these dumb bouncing boys are always antagonizing me. Stop it! Get out of here and give me a butterfly. Maybe I should turn the uh, health one back on. The health thing. Jeez, see, it just takes such a long time to get over here from over there. I wonder if, there's a, wonder if I can jump from that. I wonder if there's like an easier way to make this... Here comes the cool part. Actually, there's a song in Banjo Kazooie that has. Is it Bubble Gloop Swamp? swamp? The do -do 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 -do? No, I don't know. There's <laughs> Bubble Gloop Swamp. I think also has a uh, a little trill like that. It's not like a. It's in general just a very Kirk Hope like uh, uh, little move in the music, but. Um, there's specific tracks that have one that sound a lot like that does. Alright, there we go. Oh, well, I fed him, I guess. Is he still... <sighs> I really can't melt this with fire. Like, really? He's fed, I guess. Can I lick it? Really, I can't? There's fire berries right down here. Maybe I can do it now that he's been fed. I need to get rid of this guy first, though. He's just gonna cause me nothing but troubles. Stop. <laughs> like, it's gotta be one of these two things, right? There can't be, like, another aspect to melting that ice. Unless, like, I'll solve this dude's puzzle and the ice will just break or something. That would be the lamest way to handle this. There's really... It just, yeah. It's going right through, it seems like. Come on, Ghost Rider, come out. Why did it turn green? It seems like he still wants to be fed. But he turned green. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> I guess we'll tackle this thing. I feel like I want to say... Let's see, what could he be trying to make out of this? I want to say we want to try to, like, craft it in his... Oh, you know what? It looks like there may already be, like, a sculpture in there. Maybe we just have to be, like, Demo Man and just destroy all the rocks and rubble. I was thinking it'd be, like, a, like a Kirby 64 kind of challenge, where you have to break the blocks and make pictures out of it. But maybe we, it's not that complicated. Stop it! Get out of my face! Give me a nade. You love a good nade. So far, it seems a lot of the berries are similar to the different egg types from Banjo Tooie. I've noticed that. There were no water eggs in Banjo Tooie, that's for sure. But there were uh, fire, ice, and grenades. Oh man, how? I think. All right, so I think we're gonna have to. I think we can go into first person and aim and. <laughs> Look at this it's a statue. Just a big old block face. We could probably get it from jumping here and shooting too. But whoa, hold on now. Hold on there, boyo. <laughs> Whoops. I see you shaking. Don't worry, I'm completing your quest. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> Damn it. How many times have we climbed this thing in just this episode alone now? Hopefully it's not a glitch or something with that ghost rider. He's got a... It's like... Really? The fire wouldn't melt the ice? What is the purpose of the fire even down there for, then? I don't understand. This, uh, it's, <laughs> that part... That part in the music right there gets me every time. It always gives me like a little shiver kind of chill thing. Did he just go, mm-mm, when I got it? I don't think I've ever heard him say that before. All right, let's try this. Can we shoot? Oh, yeah, we I think we totally can. We can! Is one of those gonna hit it? Yeah, that one did. 
All right, so good. There is like a first person shot aiming mode, egg aiming or whatever. About time, I was expecting capital B to come home from the shops any moment. I forgot whatever the voice was I gave that guy. I don't think it was very well defined, whatever it was. Take your ward and clear off, useless sculptors. <laughs> Thanks, Planker, but we're not... Oh, yeah, Planker. That was it. Planker's Cavern. Planker's Plavern. Planker's Plinth. What's a plinth? <laughs> the word plinth is in this game. That's how you know... That's really more than anything how you know it's a rareware game. All right, give me that, Pagey. Slam right into it. I didn't mean to hurt you, little Pagey, though. Sorry, man. Sorry if that hurt. All right. Um, well, we got the Molly Cool, so we can go see Dr. Puzz, but I think I want to first just get uh, Trousers Move, because there's a bunch of quills up here. I think there's for sure enough to get it. Yes, there is. Whoa, and this is a whole way, all the way down slide thing. So let's just book it on over. <laughs> I just I just keep getting lost in in just all of this. Sorry I'm not talking that much. I want to explore this water too. I feel like there's a little watery abyss down there or something. Does our flying use the power bar? No, it doesn't. Anybody remember power bars? Did you ever used to eat those? Question of the day, did you eat power bars? Do they still sell them? Second question of the day, do they still sell power bars? My mom used to always buy those. Alright, Slurp State. Absorb the powers of gobbled items. Top choice! Yes, sir! It's the move I want. Yes. This next move is banned in three different modern game genres. Is it the quality assurance move? Oh, oof. <laughs> Cute. Anyway, I've noticed my green friend's tongue isn't quite as spectacular as it should be. With this upgrade, your slurp will be seriously improved with the ability yeah. to absorb the properties yeah, yeah. of your food. <laughs> Sounds cool, Trouser. What kind of properties can I absorb? Yeah, yeah. Fire? Sticky honey? Other bits? Have a look on the internet. Yeah. There's probably a list on there. Probably yeah. is, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so maybe this will be... <laughs> Hopefully this has to do with the... Um, the melting of that ice. That's what's puzzling me the most, more than anything right now, is how do I get that Ghost Rider? So can I fly across this? There was also some honey and I think even some cannonballs inside the um, cave, and I think those have to do with this power too. So maybe we'll backtrack to that. Maybe we'll go back in there, do a little bit of that, test test that stuff out and then we'll go see uh puzz I think that sounds like a good plan of attack is there like is he is, can we just eat these is this is this what counts as fire it doesn't it seems like this is still the um the regular fire blast but what i want to know is can we lick this no i don't maybe we can't i was gonna say can we lick this fire or something this torch on the wall? I wonder if... Let me go up here. I don't know if this power works in tandem with the berries or not. There wasn't like like a little torch or anything up here, right? Maybe we can lick the ice and become like ice imbued? When he says like take on the properties or whatever it was that he said about like the things that we eat. No, not that. Well, there, wasn't there a honeycomb down here? I'm gonna try it with that. Let's see. Whoops. Yeah, we can. All right, so what does this do? What is the purpose of this honey form? <laughs> this is very bizarre, ugh. Yuka just looks incredibly sticky. What is the deal with the honey? We would be rolling up so much gross dirt. Is that like a flame honey combo? Ooh, listen to the sound he makes when he runs. What is the deal, dude? 
things won't like stick to us or anything. I wanna I only I know I shouldn't be trying this as many times as I am, but I just damn it. I just wanted to see if Why did he turn green though? I really hope it's not like a a glitch or something. It looks like there's all these torches around, so I would think he didn't Trouser mention fire? Didn't he say something about like becoming like fire or honey or something? Is there is there a torch up here? I'm determined to figure this out, damn it. I don't know. There's probably some aspect to it I haven't discovered yet. But in in the purpose of trying to figure out all the aspects of it. Oof. Whoops. Is there any health around here we can get? There's these guys up here. I'm going to try to get them. I think if I just get the jump on them with the sonar, I'll be fine. Oh my god, he turned into a skull! That's hardcore! That was kind of crazy, actually. I never... hadn't seen anything like that before! Um, I guess there's just skulls. Skulls can just be in this game world. Right, do you have a butterfly? What about you? These guys are kind of cute, too. They're cute in, like, a gross, grimy villainy like underling kind of way there's something charming about it you know I'm you all know what I'm talking about maybe maybe you don't I like that the um, the areas in this have little names I don't think uh, I don't think that was the case oh you know what maybe in banjo oh excuse me I think maybe in banjo tooie that was the case but definitely not so in um in Banjo Kazooie or anything. What is the purpose of the honey, dude? What does it mean? <laughs> it could just be like a totally situational power. Like, I wouldn't put that past this game. Um. Ugh. I wish I could. What I wish is I could, like, flip through the air and take the eyes off of this thing even while it's charging. I want... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> huh. Didn't he say I could take the, the properties of fire? I don't know. I'll let it be for right now. We shall figure it out. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen. Unless, just like... I don't know why I want to go up there one last time with the fire thing. Oh, man. Because, like... Alright, so if we eat one of these fiery balls, maybe it means, like, our body will just be hot. Maybe that can melt the ice on the dude. Come on. Hurry, hustle on up here. Don't even... I'm not even going to stop for the enemies. I'm just going to roll past them. No, it doesn't seem like it. What is the deal? <laughs> All right. Um. Well, whatever. Who cares about that? I'm salty about it now. I'm bitter. Maybe I can find a campfire or something on the ground somewhere, and that's how I'll get the fire properties. I don't know. Let's talk to Puzz. We're probably not gonna have too much much time to use this. But uh, we'll see what it is. All right, fish head, still in the science business? Very much so. In fact, I've just made the final collaborations to the DN ray. It's ready for transformationing. I like that little fish she's got in her glass. Did I mention that? It looks like the fish from Banjo's house. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like she's like she's against Doctor Quack more than Capital B, because she was she worked for him in the beginning, right? The last transformation wouldn't last long in this weather. Yeah, we'd freeze up. Next transformation, I'll need you to bring me this world's molly cool while I have it. We found your molly cool, Doc. Oh, magnificent. You're ready to start the transformation. Approach the DN ray and press A. I know, it might sting. Sting me, Ray. All right, what is the transformation going to be in this world? Is it a snowman or something? Is it a walrus? Are you ready to transform? Yes. 
And oh man, we're like a snowplow, a snowplow. I wasn't expecting that. Does she not know what we're gonna turn into? Accelerate using uh, left and boost using X. Also, would you mind clearing my driveway? Whoa. What? Whoa! We can jump with this. Is this how we unlock the Ghost Rider? Man, this is crazy. It actually handles kind of okay. Let's see. Can I take it up here? <laughs> this Ghost Rider will be the the one thing we pr make progress on in this video if I have anything to say about it. Oh, it does handle it a little weird and clunkety. It's got nice physics on it, though. It all kind of jostles around like you would expect a snowplow to and it's very cute let's take a look at the front it looks like Laylee is like the little grill look at the <laughs> both have little independent eyes and they're just shiftily looking around Yuka's the main bulk of it but Laylee's just hanging on to the front that's so funny I like this a lot see it's like nicely detailed too there's like a little uh it's all jostly and jittery. It's cool. Can I use it to break the ice over here? Come on. <laughs> break the ice. Make my day. Make my week. Guess not. Can I just fall? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think the transformations can be hurt. What am I to do with this, though? Like, what is the point of you? Very cool. It's very cute. I want to say maybe it can move these big piles of, like, snow rock. But I haven't seen one of those around here. Maybe we can take it back into the cave. Let's try that. Can I just dash enemies out? Boom! Yeah, just take them. Run them through. <laughs> I, like, I like the look of the snow plow just warily entering the cave. <laughs> look at how cute the little eyes are. Oh my god, why is this game why does this game even exist? Oh we totally can. Oh there's um There's the Duke or whatever his name is. The Count. What's your name, buddy boy? Is that all to do? Gosh, top work. Now be a gent and bring it back to me. Oh, that's the dude's hat. Oh, did we get it? I thought it was the Duke and he was like underneath his hat or something. You know what I'm talking about? The Duke character from the Tribal Stack Tropics level? I thought that was him. But it's this uh, snowman's top hat. So the snowman's over here. Bring it back to him. Well, I guess if we could talk to him, that is. Look at how big we are. I can't talk to thou. Now you've been turned into a plow. Oh man, alright, so I guess we gotta change back to ukulele. Anything else to do? I know I've seen a bunch more of those big, um, snow rock things, though. I don't, I can't assume this guy would be able to go in water, but we may be able to take him, um, back through the cave to this other side. Right? Doesn't this let out somewhere else? It, oh, whoo! Let's add over here. And I think there were some... Yeah, there's a... There's a thing. Anything under there? It's a cowboy hat. Oh, there's multiple snowmen looking for hats. That's the deal, I guess. I'll be one delighted cattle rustler. That was like the... Uh, the cowboy snowman. Oh, and of course water does turn us back. Alright, so we can't take him this way. But I guess we found two hats. That's better than no hats. Um, and I think that's going to be where we call it for today's episode. So, we didn't get that Ghost Rider, much to my annoyance. But, um... Hey, we got a bunch of quills. We got our next move. We got a new power. And I think we made a little progress with that. So, all, all good by me. Maybe next time... Figure out what we can... What, to figure out what to do with our new power. How about that? Alright, till then guys, I'm at Snag Attack 8. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next video later. Nice side profile lick. Flip, flip.